Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about uh, how to become a successful software tester from as a from zero to hero. So I will be discussing in detail about how to become a very successful and professional software tester in 20 steps in this video. So let us understand what are those uh, 20 steps now. In order to move from uh, beginner uh, tester to a uh, skilled software testers, so you should go through various step uh, in your career. So I will be discussing some of those 20 steps so that uh, even if you take or if you follow these 20 steps, definitely you can also become a hero software tester. The first uh, thing you should do here is so what kind of role you should uh, take up that is very key uh, that is that is very key here in software testing also so we have various uh, roles and responsibilities we have it could be a manual testing role or automation testing role or quality assurance role so whatever the role you wanted to pick and you should clearly understand in this role what is your roles and responsibilities what is the expectation from that role as a software tester that you should understand as a key thing in the first place that is the first step you should do once you understood the responsibilities and expectations then what is the next step the next step is you should gain the knowledge the area which you are picked up apart from that you should also gain the basic fundamental aspect of software development life cycles, programming concepts, software development concept, testing methodologies, all these aspects also you should be well versed. And the third step is you should understand all the testing techniques which are available in the software testing area that could be a block box testing, white box testing or it could be functional, non-functional testing, regression testing, usability testing. There are various different kinds of testings available in software testing. You just need to well verse or learn all those different techniques because you should adapt those testing techniques in order to design your test cases. That is where the thing it comes where you should learn the testing technique. That is a third step you should do and the next step is you should also learn about what are the various tools are available in the software testing field you should pick some of the testing tool like uh, both automation and manual something like that selenium j unit test ng selenium is for uh, web uh, automation j unit for uh, unit testing uh, automation or uh, test ng we normally use for uh, generation of reports and jira we use for uh, defect management or test management as a tool we are using as in the jira so if you learn some of these uh, tools that is going to add lot of value to your career as a software tester the next step you should do here is you should learn about how to design the test cases also is very crucial because as a tester your job is to write the test cases in order to write the test cases you should understand the user stories you should understand the uh, requirements then based on the various software testing techniques you should derive the test cases that is a key uh, here once you are able to create the test cases that is where the designing of test cases comes into picture with the different uh, test scenarios which could be positive which could be negative test cases or it could be boundary cases here we call it as a edge cases as part of this uh, test design uh, aspects and we'll move on to the next step what you should do here is you should also learn some of the programming skills as well because just by learning yourself a manual testing you won't become a hero of a software tester you should also well versed with the programming skills that is going to help you to take to then your career to the next level as a hero product for that what you should do here is you should uh, learn the various programming skills at least at least, uh, at least uh, some of the very core uh, programming languages such as uh, java python or c sharp even one or two languages if you are well versed in understanding and if you are trying to bring uh, some of the test cases to be automated using these uh, programming languages 
that is uh, going to take you to the next level and the next step what you should do is you should also learn about uh, various test automation concepts including uh, you should uh, learn about how to develop the various kinds of frameworks available in uh, test automation area it could be keyword driven it could be modular or it could be hybrid framework where there are various frameworks available on automation you should learn all those various concepts and you should get strong whether you are going to bring automation in the web space or mobile space you should be well versed with this automation concept first thing the next step is you should also learn about the recent uh, technologies such as continuous integration once you once the once the once the developer start adding the code and uh, automatically all our uh, all our uh, unit test system test regression test should automatically run uh, as part of those check in procedure for to do that so you will have to run continuous integration mechanism we will be using all the continuous integration testing tool like jenkins or travis to perform this activity like running your automation test continuously as and when uh, developers start checking in and to find uh, any issues are happening when they were whenever developer checks in the code and the next step you should do is you should also learn about uh, defect tracking also is very key in the testing space as a tester you should also well versed with the defect tracking mechanism defect tracking mechanism can be using the jira tool or bugzilla by making all those area very strong you should be well versed with the defect life cycle and defect tracking mechanism defect logging mechanism defect review mechanism everything you should be well versed as part of this step that is the thing you should do as part of uh, your testing career and the next one is uh, you should also work on understanding the various test documents available uh, uh, in the software testing field it could be your test plan test strategy or it could be your test scripts or test reports or test closure reports uh, bug reports all the different documentation also you should learn because you should learn how other people have written the these documents and you can also create on your own you can practice to create this test document that is going to help you to take your career from one level to another level and the next uh, thing we should do here is you should also practice exploratory testing we just talked about uh, test designs we just talked about uh, how to use a different uh, testing techniques here in the exploratory testing we are more focusing on uh, not using any documentation we are going to test the application without having any a prior experience of the application without having any documents also you should be able to explore the application you should be able to test the application to find uh, more defects and the next thing is you should apart from uh, testing knowledge you should also have domain knowledge as well you should build the domain knowledge expertise as well as part of uh, this journey to pick up to to become from zero to hero means you should be well versed with the the domain knowledge which you are working the domain uh, knowledge can be your industry knowledge or uh, whatever the area which you are going to work you should be well versed with the domain it could be finance domain healthcare domain e-commerce domain or payment domain or it could be banking or it could be education and so on or government uh, sectors uh, domain every domain which you are planning to work or which you wanted which you are interested which you are interested you should uh, build that knowledge to yourself so that uh, this knowledge is going to really help you you don't have just a knowledge of software testing you should also bring additional knowledge which is domain knowledge which is key for any software tester to move on to the next level and the next one is you should also join the various uh, testing communities that is key uh, because if you wanted to become a uh, from beginner role to expert role if you just sit idle or do your just your work that is not going to help you should join to the various community or you should join to various forums online platforms to learn what what does the experienced testers do or what 
how the experienced testers do answer in these forms or communities, how they are sharing the knowledge between the various communities uh, so that uh, you can stay up to date uh, in the industry trends when you are joining these uh, testing communities. That is a very key. Uh, if you wanted to grow, if you wanted to build the knowledge, then you should join these testing communities. And the next thing uh, you should do here is, if possible, get certified as well. That is a key. Uh, Sometimes without having certification is also will do. But if you have certification, that is going to add lot of value addition for you. If you take an example, if you complete IST, QB International Software Testing Qualification Board that gives you the various knowledge you will get once you are able to complete that course you will have a well versed knowledge on the overall testing and the next aspect is you have joined the various forums you should also go and attend the various workshops and conferences which are more relevant to software testing area then uh, it becomes very clear for you when you attend these workshops or conferences you can get lot of uh, insights what actually the recent trends are happening what actually other companies are doing because they come and they present their work and their achievements so that you can also learn from them by attending uh, these various workshops and the uh, conferences and the next one is you should also collaborate with the developers are key because as a tester you will be working closely with the developers in day and day out and various other stakeholders as well and if you are not bringing the effective communication and collaboration skills uh, then definitely you will fail as a tester that's why you should build your skills in how you will be collaborating with the developer or any stakeholder in that matter very effectively is the key to become a hero software tester and the next one is you should also embrace uh, continuous learning it is not the end of the world whatever the steps you just followed it is not the end of the world you have to keep updating yourself you should keep learning yourself with the various new technologies tools and best practices that is going to keep you very high in the market that is why why i am talking about to become a zero to hero means if you follow all these steps definitely you can become a hero one are the hero one are the one are the other day and the next step what you should do is next step what you should do is you should also gain the real world experiences till now we just talked about all theoretical knowledge or interacting with the various people now you should have a hands on experience how you get the hands on experience without having any experience then you should join as a intern or you should join as a freelance projects or volunteer to get the work done so that uh, if you are able to participate as an intern or a freelancer or volunteer they definitely you get a practical experience that you can add in your portfolio that is where the next step comes is you build a portfolio you build a portfolio that could have various projects you work as a freelancer or a, a intern tester uh, then you should uh, bring build up your portfolio across various different area it could be testing techniques it can be automation scripts or it could be security or it could be performance or it could be various other part of testing if you build your portfolio so that uh, your resume is very attractive for the customer or whoever is going to hire you that is the key uh, that's why you should build a very strong uh, portfolio to attract the customer or the companies they wanted to hire you this is a key uh, in order to be a successful uh, hero software tester and the next thing is once you are able to build the profile once you are able to create the portfolio the next step is you should apply for these roles available in the market you can uh, search in the google you can go to various websites where they post the jobs you can apply those jobs online and you can also find your, your resume or portfolio so that uh, you are catering to that job requirement that is the key here it is not blindly uh, send the profiles to all the profiles in the same manner no be specific and uh, update your resume also according to that job description then only chances of getting the job is very high 
So if you are able to apply those interviews, you will be landing up to the one or to the other job and definitely one day you will become moving from the beginner to professional uh, or senior professional uh, software tester as a euro product uh, at the end of the day. So I hope you guys got a clear idea now. I just talked about various 20 steps. If you follow these 20 steps, definitely you can uh, become from the beginner software tester to experienced or hero software tester. I hope you guys got a clear idea now. If you guys really like this video, please like this video. If you guys are not subscribed, do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.